Hello everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to City Skyline. Here we are in front of our uh, waste uh, treatment area that we did last time. But well, it's still early in the morning, let me speed up the time a little bit. Alright, so last time we did this nice treatment plant for our water and the waste as well. And I ended up uh, adding another uh, processing complex because we had so much rubbish around, so much trash. Let's see, now we have garbage processing status is maximum, is maxed out. So we are good for a while. I've added a couple of um, facilities around, like this one to collect rubbish. That's a momentary uh, solution. I will move them over here this episode, actually. And yeah, I added this roundabout so the so that the trucks can move faster. That one was my idea since the beginning. This road is connected now. I mean, how many trucks? <laughs> We're selling so much fish, apparently. And yeah, this road must connect today. And yeah, I've added a little bit. I didn't do much during uh, between episodes, but yeah, today we're gonna play with this actually, with this new area. And actually, later today, that's the big thing about today, is we're gonna add our first ferry line, which we'll have to zigzag through this <laughs> this farm, like uh, electricity farm. We're gonna have the ferry line going all the way around and to stop here. So we will finally get rid of all of these people. Where are, you, where are they? Are they still alive? Yeah, they're still alive, they're here. I bet you there are even more, I don't want, I'm, I'm scared to check. Let's see, line details, and 1158, of course. But yeah, so actually our zoo did not upgrade yet. Which worries me. There's no income. No one is going. They don't like it. I don't. Hey guys, why are you not going there? I'm paying so much money for you guys, and no one is coming. Mm. All right, we'll uh, we'll ch ah, maybe because there's trash. There's some garbage, but you have a, a garbage thing here. We will see. We will see. Anyway, and I wanted to check. Because last time we started this guy and we lost one match but we won another one uh, a few days ago a couple of months ago actually and we won one and we lost one well, that sounds good and when's the next one next match is in one year all right all right well let's slow down the time look how much traffic is coming around here now Plenty of people. I like it, I like it. There's traffic lights here. Do we like it? Yeah, for the moment it's okay. People walking. Sorry, I just like to spend some time checking around. And why is no one going through this thing? Operating normally. Are you gonna go through? No. What's your problem? Because you have no electricity, so you all are upset. Oh, now, now this. Oh, these are the mascot. Oh, this guy came through. Albert, thank you for coming. Where's the zoo thingy? I don't know. We will see. They don't want to see the new thing we have with the reptiles, maybe. They're scared. Can you connect to electricity? Here we go. Anyway. Today we're gonna do this area, right? So I put a, a small zone around. It's uh, the old industry, right? Because this one was the old industry area. So I want to make, call the district after what was in there. And let's see, the zone takes only this middle part because I didn't want to make too big of a zone. And then we're gonna zone this part as well, actually. Let me zone it while we talk. And yeah, I don't really have a, precise plan in mind. I want to um, 
give them the most important thing I want to give them connections between I don't want to take too much of it between uh, this main road here main or district this main road here I want it to connect it here but maybe with a roundabout because I don't want to put too much traffic and people will come out of here to go there look they're already taking this road to go here although it's faster anyway and over here I want to put some uh, some commercials some stuff to be attractive maybe I will put some local produce thingies on the coast because maybe it's like a more of a vegan area this area here and over here was it here no I think over here I want to have uh, the po post I said last time like the post facility I want to have like a, a small kind of industry but not really industry not like this industry more uh, offices yeah over here we'll have more offices and the post service so the trucks can just whip, go in and go straight into here so i would say i'll start placing down some roads and see you when the roads are down all right wait matt there's nothing there <laughs> well yeah because i haven't <laughs> i've been spending a bit of time doing the industrial part that i told you so as you can see here we have no more maintenance buildings or post offices and they all moved let's follow this road with this nice camera if you follow the road look how many trucks going around i build up this area a little bit i mean it's still growing it's up, uh, i placed some offices and look at the amount of trucks post trucks so what i did was connecting this to this road and it is connected in here as well but what i gave them is the only way to get out is to continue in traffic and the only way to get in is through the roundabout so the trucks are gonna come through this roundabout go around this roundabout and come back in so they do not stop flowing traffic and to get in they don't have to cross traffic either that's a good way to to speed up the traffic in here and i will have actually i can uh, speed it up faster as well and then here i moved a few buildings so for example i have here the post sorting facility which was my centerpiece because i wanted to be closer to this junction than this junction otherwise the game would have tricked me then i placed the road maintenance depot i have two of them because my roads are really crappy i have the park maintenance building and then i placed this what's the name district office building is one of the in the Japanese pack as well I, I like it I placed it in front of the square maybe they paid for the square and yeah this area is growing up and actually I, I did, that was my plan when I planned this area but I like how it is developing so it's gonna be more of a um, not, not an industrial uh, area, but more like offices and and stuff like that. I like it. I like the look of it. So now we we spent some of our uh, office uh, demand. But yeah, let me know what you think about it. I placed the fence here so I wouldn't zone on this main road because I don't want to zone on it. Actually, I can sh show you the zoning. So I have this big chunk of free land. And I kept this one because I might put a road through here or I can make a park behind this. But the park wouldn't fit this area. But yeah, actually I'm enjoying this area a little bit. It helps with traffic and everything. Well, traffic is, is, is gonna grow actually. These fishing trucks, man, they, they are, there are plenty of them. And I don't even have many uh, harbors here seaweed farms mostly I think I should give them a connection directly to here because I think a lot of them try to go here but I'll think about that later because I don't want to put such a short connection yeah no I'm procrastinating and everything blah 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 we heard that before so let me do this half first and 
uh, I'll be back in a second, all right? That's it, that's my, <laughs> my grid for this area. I mean, just half of it, the other half is to be done yet. And so I placed this thinking about the zoning, all right? So, well, as you can see, we have this main road and I didn't want to put too many intersections on it. I did place a few, but I left enough room for cars to decide. And I tried to put them one on the right, one on the left. So, so later on when we, when we fix it, when we fix the intersection, cars are going to be faster, I think. Now, I haven't thought about uh, public transport yet. I know there's gonna be the ferry that's gonna come later. Don't worry, it's gonna come. But otherwise, I think I would put uh, another tram line. <laughs> yeah, I think so. But I will think about that later. Let me first of all zone it so we can see. Here we have the waste transfer facility, the one that was sitting here. And it's not working right now, of course, there's no electricity. But our, it has a pollution area around it. So I wanted to have um, commercial and offices around. Now commercial, we don't have much demand, so let me start with offices. We won't have commercial demand for a while anyway. So the, the pollution area is not that big, so actually it's not a problem. I don't even need this big of an area for it. But I wanted to place it underneath the highway because it's a cheap piece of land, I would say, next to the highway there and it is on a quote-unquote uh, main road it's a four-lane road these guys are not gonna have electricity so just let me connect them super quick to the other side uh, and these guys need um, garbage right so let's go this way this way we can exchange goods can you work now yes you can right there you go and oh, I always forget to set. Oh, maybe I did set it. Just a second. All right, yes, it was set on the right style. Uh, let's continue our zoning. We're gonna have offices here. And maybe I want a few um, utilities as well, because they don't care about stuff. But I wouldn't put a school next to a waste transfer facility. That would be a bit odd let's say but I can actually I could have another you know what let me do this let me have another tram depot can we fit it in here no it's not big enough just a second let me see in here you fit Com perf perfectly amazing so I think the reason is because this area is gonna have a tram as well and I don't really like the fact that all trams come from here, you know, because, I mean, it's, I don't know, I don't like it, the fact that it, I try to connect every tram road because, uh, so I don't need many de depots. It's going to cost me a lot because uh, I will show you when you see the transport expenses. Look, the expenses are so high because I'm paying for the depots as well, of course, and the depots are are not easy to pay off with the thing. Anyway, this side of this, the, the district will do it in a moment. And this road is gonna connect. And this one is gonna be all tram. And we're gonna have the tram going for the roundabout in here. That's gonna be fun. Anyway, so continuing our zoning. Let's go with a couple more offices in here. Okay, zone the north area over here. Let's call it this way. It's not even north, because <laughs> I always call this side north, so this one would be east. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm not really good at navigation, if, <laughs> if we can say that. So this um, a zone of this area, I place a few parks here so people are happy. Actually, I have to place a few hospitals. Maybe I'll put a big hospital rather than a clinic, because I mean there's going to be a lot of people living here next to the school maybe next to the high school I mean I placed too many schools so now let me place it here then I will have a fire station let's place this one 
no, this is not fire station. Firehouse, fire station, this one. Let me have it in front of the hospital, maybe on the main road, and a police headquarters over here as well. Can't the electricity jump? Yes, so you should have electricity. Yes. And we are losing money. Yeah, money is jumping up and down, so not much we can do. And let me place a few more offices, because uh, apparently this guy wants to have offices. Here it's going to be all offices. Here as well, not on the roundabout. Alright, and I will zone this area, same as the top, and we will see. I, yeah, this in this area actually I'm going to have... Um, the coast being like uh, local produce, what's the organic and local produce? What is this? Yeah, so it's gonna be more, uh, I don't know, it, it's a, a different district, you know, it's like how would you say it's a more of a vegan kind of place. Yeah, we'll see. Man, we're losing so much money. Is there a match or something? Uh, well, we won, cancelled. When is the next one? Oh, we. One and one. I don't know. I don't really know. So I spent this much and I won this little. Anyhow. Alright. Well, while in the meanwhile that this thing grows, let me do the roads on the other side and be back. Alright. So I'll do the roads here and see you in a second. And this is the result. Is. <laughs> It's a great, a, a huge spaghetti of roads and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I went a little bit crazy on that and actually this one is gonna create so much traffic, I'm gonna regret it straight away. And as you can see, we have a few tram roads around, which make it even worse. Because I placed the tram roads here as well, Oh, nice. This is gonna create so much traffic, I'm gonna regret it straight away. Well, I'm regretting it already. But yeah, I mean, what can we do, right? We just hope for the best. I will fix all the intersections for sure because otherwise we're gonna have a mess. But we don't have much demand, so this is still growing. Actually, I placed down these nice uh, biodomes so people can just come inside and check how uh, the weather is somewhere else i guess i have no idea what to do in a biodome and it's kind of ironic but we have um garbage issues next to a garbage uh, collecting facility so yeah uh i don't know what to do about that i think yeah wh why do you have so many problems maybe i need more of these facilities but this is just 8% full and only 12 trucks. Anyhow, maybe I'll, I'll place another one here and make more. Yeah, that, let's do that. Where are you? There you go. I will have you. Can I have you here? No. Yeah, I will have you on this side here. And yeah, I remember this guy. We need offices anyway, so it's good. Let's have offices up to here, and then I'll, I'll place down a few schools. You never have enough schools, as I said before. Schools here, school here. You can have a school as well. School for everyone. And then high schools. Maybe a couple of high schools here next to the stops. One here, one in here, and one in here. And then I think I will have a few utilities. Okay, let's just... Uh, it will take a while for this area to build up because we don't have much demand right now. I haven't placed down the trams and honestly I don't think I will place them on video. I will place them off camera because I will have to think a lot about it. And oh, this area is growing up. It's growing nicely. And yeah, I'm liking it actually this main road going and with a bit of tram here and yeah i'm liking it look at this okay i'm moving too much 
and actually I will place a few more domes because I like them and here we will have local produce and organic stuff but now it's the moment that you all waited for I mean you waited all of this time for <laughs> this moment I will place down a few stops for the ferry I wanted to wait to fill up this area so I, I have most of the coast or at least all the coast that I want to take uh, with the ferry it's all populated let's say I mean we have a, a road at least it's growing right so let me place the stops and I will show you my ideas all right our uh, line is down I mean the not the line per se but just the stops and the the route they will take and I will show you right now show, uh, I will place the line together I don't need this and so we will start from this end the very end because I want people to use it as well to come and work here you know so let's start from here that then we go one stop farther because this one is gonna be heavily like there's gonna be a lot of people here so I want them to be quite close and then we have here the huge exchange well this one has bus stops as well and I want buses to start from here and go all around the city so this one is gonna be like a little bit of a hub maybe we're gonna place a tram stop near maybe I'll move the route over here and maybe some other kind of uh, uh, transport that we will have in the future and then we have a stop here in front of this area for these people so these people can move to here and then as well I want to have a tram or a bus that goes maybe I can put this tram to stop here and then we have one here for the moment is pointless but then people will be able to walk here from this area and then where is the next stop? That's it. We go to this. is a pier. is a bit bigger, and it's for this commercial area. And actually, here we might have in the future, like a ferry that goes all around the peninsula. And here we have the last stop for the moment, which is the one that in the future is going to be where the uh, amusement park is going to be. So now we loop it back. You can stop here. I don't think you're going to cause too much tra traffic. Uh, and that's it we're gonna have seven boats I have no idea if it's enough or not and we can see them coming out hello they're gonna crash with these power lines I think in a few spots actually yeah let me put collision back on because they don't want to destroy any rock so they might actually do some crazy things like here but it's fine it's fine people are coming already yeah when you're gonna have public transport it's gonna be better and now that we have this one in place we can slowly rework our public transport to pull people outside of this because this one has to be the skeleton of our public public transport because we have no trains in here and the only way we can move people around is through the water because otherwise we have to use the roads so yeah it will take time for people to figure out that that route and these people will have to slowly go anyway I I enjoyed this video and uh, next time you might see this area all populated because it might work uh, off camera and so I hope you liked it as well leave it a like if you liked it let me know names for this district if you have any idea and if you have suggestion leave it in a comment there's a playlist fishbone island with all the videos from this beautiful city and if you are new just subscribe to have more videos my name is matt and i wish you a very good day bye